among all the creation theories, the most compelling one is for me is the simulation theory. All the religious people believe in this concept. Let me explain. There is a long philosophical and scientific history that reality is an illusion. For example, Butterfly Dream or Zahansi, or the Indian philosophy of Maya, or the ancient Greek philosophy of Xanaxaphos and Minos. The most famous underline of all religion is that life is a simulation. A scientific theory becomes a religious fact. Religion says that this life is an illusion. It's a test that there is more after life. Everything we do in this life is recorded. After the lifetime, the score will be calculated and analyzed. According to the score, we'll move to the next level, either heaven or hell. Even there, we have stages. In some religions, we have given lives, reincarnations, just like in a video game. So that's the religious simulation theory breakdown. Now let me jog your mind with the latest definition of simulation theory or the simulation hypothesis. All of the reality could be an artificial simulation, an imitation of the real thing. It's just virtual, not real. That includes the Earth and the rest of the universe. Nick Boston's 2016 paper on Are You Living in a Computer Simulation made the simulation hypothesis popular again. And one of the biggest proponents on simulation theory is Elon Musk. If powerful people into something, we should pay attention, I think. But not on everything. The Simulation Hypothesis by Rizwan Ritt is the latest book I read on simulation theory. Give it a go. There are some interesting aspects of simulation theory. There are a gazillion content about this. I have put some links in the description from a basic introduction to a complex deep dive on this hypothesis. If we are living in a simulation, do you think we can find some clues, some glitches, codes, stuff like that? Yes, I think I found one. That is Benford's law. I think this law strengthens the probability that we are living in a simulation. Simulation theory cracked my brain, but Benford's law blew that into smithereens. Hear me out. Benford's law, also called as the first digit law, is an observation about the frequency distribution of the leading digit in many real life sets and numerical data. Too technical? Let's break it down. For an example, if you take a bunch of random numbers and stack up according to the numeric order 1s and 2s up to 9, we won't get a random pattern. We will get this. That's not the crazy part. These numbers have a fixed percentage of how many times it will appear. To be precise, it goes like this. Number 1 appears about 30% of the time and number 2 about 20%. Likewise, number 9 will appear less than 5% of the time. When these dots are connected, we will get this curve. It's called the Benford's curve. And it has a theorem. And again, that's not it. Everything falls into Benford's law. From the universe to your bank statement, everything fits into Benford's law. Since everything based on numbers, we can use Benford's law to identify errors and fraud. So what intrigued me is, if you are living in a simulation, Benford's law is a perfect equation to fit the narrative. According to Benford's law, there is no free will or randomness. Everything we do is calculated. It's all fall into a pattern. It's like it's hard-coded to our reality to prevent it from crashing, just like a video game. I have one more compelling observation to emphasize this is a simulation. From the beginning of time of humanity, we knew about good and evil. Every country, every culture, everyone knows about the concept of good and evil. But still, the atrocity caused by humans around the world throughout the history is preposterous. There is no grain of empathy. That makes me wonder. This should be a simulation. The pain, suffering, lack of compassion, it should be programmed into us. That's why we cannot be sentient. Just imagine, if there is no inequality, conflict, suffering or stupidity, that will be a boring simulation. Just a thought. So this is how I link Benford's law to the simulation theory. This is just my theory. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Oh no, we might be in a simulation. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe, like and share with your friends. Signing off, this is Zeke.